الله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار All praise is due to Allah. We seek refuge with Allah from our sins and bad deeds. He who is guided by Allah indeed has been guided. And he who is misguided only Allah Azza wa Jal can guide him. And I bear witness that there are no deities to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Sayyidina Muhammad, upon his family, upon his companions, and upon those who follow his sunnah until the day of judgment. The best words are the words of Allah, and the best guidance is the guidance of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran and Kareem gives us examples. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells, وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَثَلًا and strike an example for them. And what is an example? Why give an example? We give an example when something needs to be clear, to clarify something. So we, we, we make it look like something that we're giving an example with, so the matter will become clearer to the one who is listening. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does this in the Quran, however, <coughs> Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give an example. That example is something that didn't happen. It's just an example. The example of a fire to be, to be lit up and, and then the light all around it like this and that and so forth. But sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give an example that did happen. Something that didn't happen before. But give us an example with it. And, that, and, and, and this particular example or, or, or this particular way of, of striking an example is to give us a blueprint, if you will. To give us a blueprint, a, 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 a prototype, if you will, of, of something that is uh, universal. It is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth and is to be implemented anywhere and in, in, in any time. It is timeless. Inshallah, we'll talk about the example that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave in, in Surah Yaseen. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَثَلًا أَصْحَابَ الْقَرْيَةِ Give them an example of meaning talking to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Give them an example uh, of, of the Ashab al-Qarya, the companion of the city, meaning the people who were living in that town. Okay? إِذْ جَاءَهَا الْمُرْسَلُونَ That the messengers came to them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not tell us who these messengers are. Not only that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not even tell us what the message is. Okay? Did not tell us what the message, the message is at all. In Jaan or Salun. Okay? And, 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 and with the, what, how many of those there were, were two? Okay? And then what happened? فَكَذَّبُهُمَا <laughs> They, they denied the first two, Allah sent the third one, and then they said, it. What is the message? We are messengers to you. That, that's all. What is the message? We don't know. 
what is the disobedience that these people have? Okay. So what do we get from that? It is that they're, they're when, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a message, a messenger, it is because there is no self-correction from the inside anymore. Right? And there were people in, in this town that that corrected what's going on or trying to correct what's going on or carrying the correction with them. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not send a messenger yet. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa came to Mecca with this, no, no, no guidance whatsoever. That 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 la ilaha illallah did not exist. When when Isa alayhi salam came, the Israelites carried la ilaha illallah in a way that is all twisted and all changed. When Musa alayhi salam came, similarly it was happening. So this is what we know. We know that when a messenger, Allah said, we send a messenger. That means the town is really. It needs some help from the outside now. Cannot the help from within that it is, does not exist. That's okay. So now, what is the sickness? We know that the, the, we have the you know the sickness of the people you know, that Muhammad Ali Salam came to. We know that the gays and lesbians and so forth or gays at that time, or or the time of Shaykh Ali Salam. What 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 is the problem is? The money matter and how they're dealing with their hijab and with their commerce and so forth in a way that was uh, oppressive and so forth, right? But this here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give us specifically what their devi the, the deviation that they had, but give us gave us the concept of deviation itself. And that's very important. Because you can take this as a prototype, as a blueprint, and you implement it everywhere, at any time, and any place. What was the deviation? They said to them, You're not, nothing except a, a human being like us. The most merciful did not bring anything down, you are liars. So basically, that is the deviation. What is what what are these people like? They are people believing the existence of Allah. They call Allah Allah. And they call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most merciful, Ar Rahman. That's very good. You believe Allah is this. You believe Allah is the most merciful. So what is the disease here? They said, Ma anzal al Rahman bin Shay. Most merciful didn't bring anything down. The issue is don't tell us what to do. That is a sickness, the universal sickness. And it's the universal sickness is the time of Adam alayhi salam. And you can put anything under this category, whatever specifics are, but don't tell us what to do. And you are liars. That's it, that's it. So do they believe in Allah's existence? Yes. Do you believe in Allah's attributes? Yes. But some, not all. So in other words, to them Allah was the most merciful. So don't make it difficult. Don't, don't, don't make it, don't, you know, cause problems here. Okay? Yes, we believe that God exists and He loves us and we love Him. He's the most merciful and who can forgive. That is a deviation to the point that they needed a messenger to correct this. Rasulullah said that, uh, uh, that is an example of my, my own, my, my, the knowledgeable tool. My own is the, the, the prophets of the Israelites, meaning that there is no message after Rasulullah. There is no messenger. The message stays, no new message, and there is no prophet or messenger after Rasulullah. But there are Muslims who are carrying the Quran and Sunnah. So when there is a place, that needs, that has no self-correction from the inside. The message is not there. What happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muslims there. Send those who carry the message so they can implement it as much as they can and they give the message to those who do not know what this is, what this life is about, what is the hereafter is about, what is after death, where we come from, and so forth. So they did not, they did not want to follow. 
democracy today, it is exactly that. They tell you it is, it is whatever it is the people decide is going to be the way. And we are the people of God. And we, God exists. But however, God, we do not give God the right to tell us what to do here. Okay, we go to whatever it is we and we are God is going to be the way. And this is the way that we are living in now. We have there are issues that are completely clear in the Quran, in the Bible, in the Torah, in, in all the books of Allah. And then they say, but we have decided, we the people. That's what they say, we the people. Yeah, but there is God, there is, you know. So they believe, they are meeting anyone who goes into this deviation. They believe in Tawheed or Rububiyya, but do not tell, believe in Tawheed or Rububiyya. They believe in what Allah does for them, but they do not believe what they sh in what they should do in the way of Allah. And, and this is what makes one a Muslim. We believe Allah is doing everything for us, so therefore we go to do everything in the way of Allah. That is a submission. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-Khalid, al-Malik, al-Muhaydin, al-Razzaq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, provider, and sustainer. So we say, since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do everything for us, then we will do what? Al-Ibadah, al-Hubba, al-Ta'a. We worship Allah and we love Allah and we obey Allah, whatever it says. That is, that and who is Allah also? That's not Allah. The names and attributes of Allah is very clear to us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us his names and attributes. Nobody shares it with him. So therefore, this is a, a complete message, a complete concept. The details, yeah, it will come, and it is there. But however, we have to agree with this concept first, that, that, that what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying has to be followed. Okay? So what did they say? Man anzal Allah rahmanu min jah, the most peaceful did not bring in anything that in unto me that they do, you are lying. Okay? So what did the messenger say? Another word, what did the messenger say to them? What is the message? To, to, to obey Allah. Allah is saying to you, giving you a guidance. You, you, you need to guide. No. They, they completely push it back from the very beginning. You do not even want to know what God says. They, 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 we are the authority here. The authority cannot be from any other direction. Okay? So, in that we are indeed like, like for you, we are messenger, we're coming for you. Okay. Allah knows that we are messenger. Ah, uh, to you. Another word, we don't want your approval here and so forth. We are nothing but messenger. And we know that Allah sent us, and Allah knows that He sent us. The matter is done. Okay? So what, what did they say? What did the people say? What did they continue and say to them? They said, You are a bad omen. Okay? If you don't stop this, we're going to stone you, we're going to punish you. We're going to stone you to death. We're going to punish you to be punishment. For what? To tell you that Allah is saying to God, are we coming to tell you that Allah is guiding you? You're going to kill us, stone us to death, punish us severely because of that? Well, what, what, is this a punishment according to a crime? What is a crime? There is no crime here at all. And, 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 and they did not articulate the crime. They said that, that it is, we, it is, we're going to do this because you're a bad omen. Every time we look at you, you remind us that you are goody goody people, if you will. You are uh, the one who reminded us that we are the deviant. So therefore, we're just against you because of that. And every time we look at you, how you dress, how you move, how you speak, how, whatever it is that, that you do, you are giving bad luck to us here. Okay, just stay away from us. But they did not even say that. You could have told them, stay away from us. You could tell them, push them out of, 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 of town. But they didn't. They said, we're going to punish the people who stole you to death. Is this familiar with the, the, this rhythm and this blueprint that is happening over and over and over again? So what do we do? What is it? 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about one person, about one man, okay? جَاءَ وَدَعَ مِنْ أَقْسَى الْمَدِينَةِ رَجُلٌ يَسَعَ قال يا قوم اتبع المرسلين اتبع من لا يسألني وأنه هو مهتم A man came from far away from Medina the, the edge of the Medina coming and saying my people in other words he was among them but now he is on the edge of, the, of, of town why did he go to the edge of town? because he was afraid of this what he's carrying to be dissolved in the, in the, in the part of everything else but when he saw that there is some Others can help him in the message that he is giving. He came running to them and, 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 and helping them and telling the people, their people, his people, come on, Tabrat or Salim, follow the messenger. They are not asking you for any reward or any compensation. They, they, why, why they are doing this? It is because simply they are telling you the truth and telling you that they are coming to save you from, from the, the, the punishment that would be coming. But the point is when there was a way to help and an aid there and, 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 and a way to, to give them like a message. And those who are helping him with it, he worked into this group, if you will. However, when it was so bad and, and he was afraid that his being is going to be affected, then he left that. He stayed outside of that. He ran away with his being. Just like in Surah Al Kahf, those who that, that the number of youth that they run away with their deen because they, if they stay, then there is something will, 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 will happen to them and they, maybe they will be this, uh, you know, disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be pressured to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they run out, uh, away with their deen. We do not run away with our deen. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that there will be those who are carrying the al haqq until the day of judgment. There will be those who are They will be holding on to al haqq and those who take them as an enemy and those who let them down will not harm them in any way. But you gotta find them. You gotta find them. Because now among the Muslims those who say the same thing, who say we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so forth, but, but we need to change this our ways. This is not quite fitting right now. They, they, you know, so they'll, they'll tell me what to do in item one, two, three here. Because, you know, we take a, a crooked path, but our goal is really good. My intention is really good, and my goal is, is to, to, to get to the Muslim to, to be known and on so forth and so on. So we're gonna go deviant. So in groups are going deviant here and there, because they are supporting us, we're going to support them. Wait a minute, who did that? Did Rasulullah to do that? But, but, you know, the, the, the message here is the, 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 the final point here is the intention of it is good and the goal is good. The path to the goal has to be good. Because the Sharia that governs, the goal is the same Sharia that governs the path to the goal. You should remember that. That the Sharia that, 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 that tells us this is the goal and it's a noble goal and we all agree that this is noble. But then we cannot choose a path to go there that is crooked. It has to be implemented by Sharia as well. It has to be agreed up by the Sharia as well. We cannot because if we do that, what are we basically saying? What we're basically saying is the result is because of what we do. Not because it's the result that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave. And that is shirk. Blatant shirk. Clear shirk. Why? Because we do take the means, but the result is with Allah. And we cannot not take the means. We have to take the means. But we know that the result Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives. So we get a goal that is noble, and then <coughs> we find a path, and we say, we'll go crooked in this path, okay? So hopefully Allah will help us to reach the goal. Does that make any, any sense? Okay. Can we go around and with, with those who are going, you know, away from the, what is the fitra of what a human being is, and say, we 
supporting them and, and, and so forth and, 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 and saying, yeah, because they are supporting them, because we need the, 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 the support. We need. If we, we, we go in the history is obedient, so Allah will put blessings upon us, that doesn't make sense. If Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did this in Mecca, he did in certain issues, but not in others. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Meccans will tell Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you just lean toward us a little bit, okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that tahaduka khalila. He would have taken you as a close friend. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لولا أن ثبتناك لقد كنت ترك إليه شيئا قليلا. If it wasn't us for putting you your feet firm, you would keep ترك إليه شيئا قليلا. That's five words that mean the same thing. لقد كنت لقد كنت you were about ترك go close شيئا some close you know قليلا a little bit. You are about, maybe, to get in this matter close a little bit toward them. Okay? Meaning, if you were you, thinking about this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told me to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and say to him, If you would have done that, we would have punished you double in this life and in the hereafter. Who Allah told him to? The most beloved being. They were created Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But there are matters that we cannot compromise with. But there are matters that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not compromise, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the Lord for, for, for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, there are many matters. But when it comes to the clear matters of disobedience, the aqidah, what we carry, there is no compromise in this. So, what did that, what did the, the man who's coming far, far away from Medina, what did he do? They stampeded him to death. And he died. Okay. And as soon as he died, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qilatu lil jannah. Enter. He was said, enter jannah. Okay. And what did he say? He said, Ya layta qawmi ya'lamu. Ila matari ya'bi rabbi wa ja'lani min al I wish my people would know what how Allah forgave me and made me from those who are honorable. In other words, he wish still wished for his people after he died. He did not say, you know, they can go to hell now and I'm so forth, they literally they go into and so no, he wished for them to see the mountain that Allah has for him in Jannah. So maybe they will be guided, maybe they will, 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 will listen to the, the message of the Prophet. The point is, that is not a message of hate. And we'll end up with this, that hate, in, 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 when the scholars talk about hate, as Imam al-Qayyim rahmahullah said, one will not be a believer. And when I say this sentence, it's going to seem to be really uh, politically incorrect. But it is very correct, once we understand. He said, one will not be a true believer unless he looks that, that the people and hate him so much and they look at himself and hate himself even more. Wait a minute, this talk about hate. But what was he saying in the context of what he was saying and the understanding at that time of what hate this hate is? That he hate what he hate what the people do to themselves. And he would love for them to hold on to the past and let go what they carry. That's what he hates. He hates what they're doing to themselves. And he said, you look at yourself and you hate what you're doing to yourself as well. In other words, you have to have a critical uh, vision here. You're looking at, 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 at uh, what's going on in a way of disobedience with everybody and with, with yourself and see how you can correct this. That is the essence of a Muslim. He loves everybody and he hates what they're doing to themselves. And he loves to go to Jannah and he hates what he's doing that prevent him from entering Jannah.